Hey guys, welcome back to Living in the Mom Lane. I've had a few requests for a video on my nighttime skin routine. My routine is pretty simple. I have very, very dry skin, so I don't use a whole lot of product. I don't have breakouts or anything like that. I just have really dry skin. So over time, like within a couple of days, I will get a really dry patch right here and it just looks really bad. Um, it'll look like little bumps or something on my forehead there. And then I get really dry patches right here on the sides of my cheek or along my jawbone. So I try to exfoliate my skin almost every night and it's a gentle exfoliation, it's not that rough. Uh, so what I use for that, it is a cleanser and an exfoliator. Um, it is called Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating for Dry Skin Energizing Coffee 2-in-1 Scrub and Cleaners Cleanser Stick. I got this from Grove Collaborative. Normally, the way I use this is actually in the shower, but for filming purposes, <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Looks like this, and you can see the little coffee granules, and that is the exfoliators. And if you hear background noise, my girls are out in the playroom playing. I'm actually in their bathroom because for some reason, the lights in my bathroom when you're recording and you watch it back, it's like flickering. You know how when you see a computer on TV or something and it has the little flickering things? I'm not sure what it's called. That's how it was doing. So I was like, forget it. I'll just go do it in the girls' bathroom. So I don't know if it's going to do that or not. Um, normally it doesn't, but I don't know. Anyways, so normally I clean my face, wash my face when I'm in the shower. So I just rub it all over my face, rub it really good, and then rinse it off. But like I said, for filming purposes, I'm gonna do it just here in the bathroom. So that is my cleanser that I use. To take off my eye makeup, I like to use Sweet Almond Oil. It's 100% pure and natural, and this I just got from Amazon. It's a therapeutic grade cold pressed almond oil from Spain and um, it's very moisturizing. So, and I do tend to get kind of dry skin under my eyes too. So I use this to take off my eye makeup. I just put a squirt on a little pad and then I'll do one eye and then I turn the pad over, squirt another squirt and then do the other eye. And then after I have washed my face and taken all my eye makeup off and everything. Before I put my moisturizer on, I use frankincense essential oil. This helps support your skin and it will help minimize fine lines and wrinkles. So what I do is I'll put a little bit here on my forehead because I guess I frown a lot, I don't know. I smile a lot too, but the sun is so bright here in Florida that you know I'm constantly, even with sunglasses, I'm constantly frowning when I'm outside. So now I have these wonderful little frown lines right here. And then I have definitely getting the smile lines. I've noticed a little more of those here and here. So before I put my moisturizer on, I just dab it. I don't dilute it. You can if you want, but I don't. I just Turn it upside down to where a little bit is on my finger and I rub it on my all my wrinkles. Then the last step is my sandalwood moisturizing cream. And this is again from Young Living. And this, guys, this will last me for a very long time. It's a very thick cream and it just takes a little bit. This smells good too. I really like the smell of this one. Um, it has the hydrating properties of shea butter with botanical oils, extracts, sandalwood moisturizing cream, nourishes and moisturizes dry skin. And I love this stuff. All right, so let's get started and you're gonna see some major under eye circles <laughs> whenever I take all my makeup off. So 
Let's get started. Now I'm just going to squirt my oil onto the little cotton pad. You want to be gentle, especially on the under eye skin because that is like the thinnest skin on your face. So you don't want to go in there and just be like rubbing it really rough. If you use an oil plus moisturizing cream, you want to put the oil on first. moisturizing cream. And when you put cream on, you always want to go in an upward motion because ladies, we already have gravity working against us. <laughs> so you want to go in an upward and outward motion. do go ahead and put a little bit on my lips just because my lips tend to get really dry and chap easily and then when that happens I end up getting a cold sore so I try to take the best measures that I can and keep them moisturized. Then I also like to put it on my neck and again you want to go in an upward motion. And also, I wear a lot of v-neck or scoop neck tops, so my chest is always exposed to the sun. I do put sunscreen on, not every day like I should, but I do put it on occasionally. So, you know, with the dry skin already and then the sun, I don't want to get a really wrinkled chest. So I do go ahead and put some on my chest. Okay, and that's it. That's all that I do. Um, like I said, you know, I've even growing up, going through the adolescence years, I never had pimples. I would get one maybe during that time of the month and that's it. So I, I do feel like I was kind of blessed with that. I didn't have really bad acne or anything, but I do have the dry skin. So, um, and unfortunately when you have dry skin, you do tend to wrinkle a lot quicker than if you had oily skin. So that is why I moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. I really want to keep those wrinkles away. So if you liked this video, then give it a thumbs up and make sure you click on that subscribe button and tap on the bell to receive notifications of when I post new videos. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.